So having uh, completed the uh, unit one, uh, we are entering into unit two. So as per the syllabus, the unit two title is also uh, a yeah, linear data structure and it uh, deals with two uh, linear data structures apart from list. One is stack, another one is queue. So in this uh, lecture, uh, let us uh, listen about what is the stack and uh, what is uh, Q and its associated uh, operations and applications. I already told you whenever you want to study any data structure. So now you are going to study the stack data structure. So what you will do first, you will start with the definition. Definition of the data structure. Then our definition or you may say that introduction, a gentle introduction about that data structure, right? That is the first point you wish to study. The second point you wish to study about any data structure is diagrammatic representation. Diagrams. So that is logical diagrams. Through which help of diagrams, how that data structure is represented. So that is the second point you should study whenever you study a data structure. And in the third point, what you have to discuss is any condition. Any condition is there. Any condition is there. Any condition is there. Why this condition is required? Say, be, say for example, that may be is a fourth point. Third point is uh, operation. Third point is operation. After operation, or while doing the operation, you need to check certain conditions. So that may be treated as the fourth one, that is condition. Right? And the fifth one is, uh, fifth one is, operation may be in general, uh, insertion, deletion, or searching. So when, when we record with the linear data structure, the major operations are insertion, uh, deletion, and searching, and searching. So whenever you want to do insertion operation, deletion operation, searching operation, you will be ended with, or you will be uh, having a thing called condition. condition. So you need to do a task of condition. So definition or introduction, diagram, uh, condition or op condi operation, followed by condition. Fifth one is uh, any special kind. Any special kind, special kind. You know, uh, any special variant is there in stack or is in queue. So what is the special variant in list? So one is array, right? What are the two types? One is array, array. another one is linked list, right? Linked list. So these are the two types. Likewise in stack, is there any type or any special types or any special variant? Likewise in queue. Of course, in queue, you have a circular queue, uh, double-ended queue, those kind of stuff is there. But anyhow, we have to uh, check with the stack also. Any special, any data structure you have to check. And the sixth one is application. Sixth one is application. Uh, with regard to application, either you can study uh, simply a list of applications for this purpose, this is used, and for that uh, uh, problem, it is using it very uh, successfully like that. In addition to that, you need to have a study about certain problems. Like, like a link list, you have studied about the problems with respect to uh, uh, link list uh, as a representation of polynomial, evolution of polynomials. And another important point here I forgot is uh, ADT, ADT. Of course, ADT comes here. In the fifth one, ADT comes. So if ADT comes in fifth one, then any special kind comes as sixth one and the application comes as seventh one. Right? Fifth one. That is ADT. ADT plays a major. So after having understanding the operation, what are the various operations that you have to do? Then you have to write ADT for each operation. That is in the pseudo code form. And to program. ADT or otherwise it is program. So these are the key points you should remember whenever you study a data structure. So once again, and remind you. So first one is uh, definition or introduction about the data structure. And the second one is diagrammatic representation. And the third one is operation. Third one is operation. And the fourth one is uh, what is the condition for doing all the uh, necessary operations. And the fifth one is ADT or program or pseudocode. And the sixth one is any special type is there or not. And the seventh one is application. So these are the things you should study. Now, come to stack. What is stack? See, you see, so like when I asked you a question, have you come across the term, uh, what is that, list? In your real world example or in your day to day life, have you come across the word list? Likewise, you can come across the thing called stack. 
that is whenever you place an item one over the other whenever you place any item or any object or any uh, book or any material or any furniture or any arrangement of objects if it is placed one over the other, other then that arrangement is called as stack so here uh, some set of cards are arranged one over the other some set of plates are arranged one over the other so these are the example for stack now what is the thing is see here this is the first plate in case this is the first plate and over the above the second plate and over the above this is the third plate and over the above this is the fourth plate and this is the fifth plate right so in with this order only the plates are arranged arranged now if i want to remove the plates i can remove the plate one if i remove the plate one what about the uh, arrangement of other plates it may get disturbed it may fall down or uh, it may have some jerk like that likewise when you remove any cord at the bottom so what is that the entire uh, arrangement can get collapsed so what you can do is you need to you need not to collapse the order but still you have to take the uh, cord so what is the thing you can do you can do the last one as first so in if you arrange a set of items in the manner of stack in the manner of stack what is the manner of stack that is one above the other that means the element that is inserted last should be taken out as first one the element that is inserted last should be taken as the first one so that is the uh, idea here that is the idea here. so hence the stack is otherwise called by the name lifo that is last in first one reversely or alter alternatively we can call that because the first one is the one which is taken out on the last right so we can call by the name as first in last out also below first in last out so you may have two terms that is last in first out lifo or first in last out you may see but, but very quite oftenly the word last in first out l i e f o last in first out has been used very popularly is very popular so that is what the stack is all about so the diagrammatic representation of stack so the diagrammatic representation if you look at it it looks like an array so it's of course uh, the diagrammatic representation is the yeah, logical di diagram so it looks like an array provided you could see that there is a pointer here there is a pointer here the pointer is called as top the pointer so the top is the pointer which is associated with the stack of uh, sorry, array of elements so if an array of elements is associated with that top pointer then it is called stack where the top pointer initially locates the top pointer initially locates at the bottom of the stack and it holds the value minus 1 minus 1 so this is 0 this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 like that right so whenever you want to insert an item so you just uh, increment the top pointer to one. So if you increment the top pointer, initially the top pointer value is minus one. If you increment it, it comes to zero. Then you insert an element. Then it comes to one. Then it uh, goes to another element. So likewise, 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 it goes, it goes, right? So that is the way in which uh, you do do the operation of insertion. And the insertion operation is otherwise called with a push. Likewise, here I think that there is an arrow difference is there, right? So here you have to bring the array the pointer here. So when the array is get pulled, array is get pulled. That means when the stack is get pulled, then the value of the top pointer is size of the array or size of the stack. Now what you have to do? You have to decrement the top pointer one by one. So the, now the top pointer is here. Decrement the top pointer to one position down. Pop up the element. Decrement the top pointer from one position down. Pop up the element. Decrement the top pointer from one, so like that. So this is last in first out. This is last in first out. So the diagrammatic representation of stack is this one. This one. So that is that. So first you have studied the introduction, then the diagrammatic representation. With the help of the diagrammatic representation, so that is the logical diagram. You need to illustrate. The operation push and pop operation. What is push push operation? That is uh, insertion operation. What is pop operation? That is deletion operation. Accordingly, you should show the condition also. You should know the condition also. So when the top is minus one or when the top is something below the stack size, then push operation is possible. When the top is uh, equal to array size, that is when the stack is full, then only pop operation. So without having any element, no need to delete an element, right? So no need to go for pop operation. 
So this is the operation that is push operation. So push operation is uh, increment the top pointer one over the other. So before doing the push operation, you have to check the condition whether the top is equal to equal to RSS. Suppose in case uh, uh, the top pointer is uh, holding the topmost position, that is the uh, uh, array size. So what is the thing? What is the thing happening there? What is the thing happening there? So you need not add any more element, right? So it is not possible for you to add any more elements. Why it is not possible for you to, not to add any elements? Because the array size is full. If the array size is full or if the stack size is full, no need, no memory, other additional memory space is there and you are not able to add any element. Likewise, when you pop an element, likewise, when you pop an element, say for example, you want to remove an element. So what is the thing there? Uh, you need to check the condition, whether the condition is uh, minus or not. If it is minus one, if it is minus one, what is the condition? Uh, what is the situation? There is no element. If there is no element, no requirement is there for deletion. So you have two conditions. One is, one is overflow condition. Another one is underflow condition. One is overflow condition. Another one is underflow condition. So overflow condition is always uh, um, checked for whether the uh, stack is full or not. Underflow condition is always check for the stack is empty or not. If it is empty, no need to delete. So you have to check whether it is empty or not. If it is full, then there is no insert. They have to check for full. So that is the idea here. So other further operations are like the peak or top. So that is in, that is to return the element which is pointed to the point uh, top pointer, and you have to check whether the thing is empty, is empty, is full. So these are the things. You have to check is empty, is full like that. So push operation. So when you want to do the push operation, when you want to do the push pop operation, see, you have to check the stack empty and you have to increment the my stack pointer to one, that is zero. You have to insert the first element, stack pointer to one, you have to insert the second element, stack pointer to two, you have to insert the third element. So likewise, the insertion is going up. If you want to pop the element, see the top pointer is a two. So you have to decrement the top pointer to one, and then you have to return the uh, element that is uh, the top pointer. This power operation. And this is the array implementation. So for each case, you have to ch discuss the array implementation as a pointer implementation. See, so it is very simple. Uh, this is the uh, header file inclusion. The stack is declared and other associated variable. The push pop operation and the other methods are defined. So inside the methods, you have checked whether number of elements uh, that is to be entered, and uh, we have checked the operations. So if the operation is one, if the number entered is one, choice entered is one, the push operation choice entered should pop, the choice entered is three. So uh, should, that is displays up for the break. So you say, for example, push operation. If you enter a number, if you enter a number, right? And you have to check what is the check operation you have to check whether the top is uh, full or not. That is overflow condition before doing insertion operation. So if it is full, then that overflow condition is not hold hood. Uh, then the overflow condition will not hold hood for doing additional insertion. So insertion is not possible. Otherwise, insertion is possible. How the insertion is possible? That is, you have to increment the top pointer. You have to increment the top pointer, and then you have to place the value. Likewise, pop pointer, you have to check the pointer value as minus one or not. If it is minus one, then the condition is underflow. Then the condition is underflow. At that situation, you have to check whether the top pointer reaches the uh, whether the top whether this is, that is you have to uh, reduce the top pointer one by one. Then only you can delete the element. So if it is top equal to one, then the stack is empty. So in case if you want to show the element, so within the simple for loop and increment the from the top position to the uh, one by one, one position until top pointer value reaches minus one. Until the top pointer value reaches minus one, you have to do that operation. So if you are thorough with the C, it is very easy to understand. It is a matter of uh, code. What is linked listing? The same implementation, but uh, there is a change here. See, so here you are using a self referential structure. One is val, another is structure node. So, structure, what is the structure node? So something is there. This is point to find the data. So this is val, and this is going to the next address. The value is entered. So instead of having the array form like this on the top here, here you have top uh, pointer, and it is it is go like a uh, chain of boxes, chain of boxes. But the top pointer is still here, and that it is the duty of the top pointer to you. So what do you have to do? Every it's the same operation. You have to check the head. 
uh, whether it is under flow or it is overflow condition the same thing you have to check and you have to increment the pointer to one point and uh, you have to uh, re assign the pointer variable in order to push the element that is increment the uh, inside insert the element likewise you have to um, take out the element means you have to free the pointer free the pointer so there is you have to take the item and then delete the item then that uh, deleted item is there then you have to pop, free the pointer so according to the case switch case if case is one uh, push is uh, called case is two displays called like that like the like that it goes right so if you will clearly walk uh, going out the top by through this diagram you can easily understand that idea so why how the pointer is how the pointer is moving and how the pointer movement will pick up the value and how that value is deleted so everything is made paka uh, arrangement when you are doing the code when you are drawing the diagrams and after the drawing the diagrams when you are understanding the diagram through the uh, statement right so what are the applications and stuff so expression conversion syntax parsing backtracking parenthesis checking string reversal function call balancing symbol number conversion some compiler design so these are the various operations uh, various application of stack so stack is having wonderful application when uh, with respect to computer science especially in terms of compiler design uh, function call uh, and other like other thing like uh, number conversion expression conversion like that of stuff so backtrack in gaming in gaming you have backtracking for which stack is used right so there are other applications of stack that we will see later uh, now we will go to uh, another uh, data structure called uh, q so q is also a linear data structure uh, q is also a linear data structure and it has uh, two things uh, one data folder and another two data tracker front and rear so when you take the case of stack, stack you have only one pointer top, but when you take the case of uh, Q, you have two pointer. One is print pointer, another one is rear pointer. So what is this the data holder? So data holder is the one which holds the data. What is the data tracker? The means of the movement of the front pointer and rear pointer, we are keeping track of the uh, data movement, whether it is uh, going to insert it or whether it is going to delete it or not, right? So that is the uh, situation and that is the idea here. And what are the operations? Insertion, deletion, and search. These are the operations that uh, we will uh, do it. Insertion operation, deletion, and search. So, right. Then we go in one by one. So, the next one is diagrammatic representation. So, diagrammatically, this represented. There is a data folder is in an array. So, it is uh, represented like this. See, now you say not only it is represented the horizontal, so you can also represent like this fashion also. There is nothing wrong with it. Like this fashion also, you can imagine. You can imagine. So, what are the two pointers? There is another data tracker. One is the front pointer and the rear pointer. So the front pointer is used to delete the element from Q, and the rear pointer is used to insert the element from the Q. Right? What are the various conditions? So how the insertion is carried out? So insert rear pointer, it is minus one. Uh, front pointer is also minus one. So rear pointer is moving one position, that is zero. The data element is deleted. Rear pointer is moving another position, that is one. The rear data is inserted. The data is inserted. The data is inserted. So likewise, the rear goes up to here. When you want to delete it like that. So what is the kind of Q it is? That is the element that is inserted first. The element that is inserted first. That is first in, first out. Or you may say that last in, last out. Lilo. What is first in, first out? The element that is inserted first is the element that is deleted first. So that is first in, first out. So that is the uh, idea here. So there are various conditions. What is empty? When a Q is empty, empty if the data tracker uh, variable that is the pointer variable is minus one then there is no element in the queue that is the data holder at that condition situation the element is the queue is called as empty queue when the front pointer is minus one when the front pointer is holding the position minus one and the rear pointer is keep increasing by one and the rear pointer reaches the array size that is sorry queue size here so that means Front pointer comes here, insert the element 5, comes here, insert element 8, comes here, insert element 11, comes here, insert element minus 7, comes here, insert element 6. So if that is the condition, if that is the situation, then it is the full queue, then it is the full queue, then it is the full queue. So that uh, full queue is the one which is uh, uh, having the condition front equal to minus 1 and the rear. And there are other conditions, that is one element added queue, that is the rear equal to 0, and the front, front position is minus 1, whereas the rear position is 0. That means the rear is holding the first location. So in that case, uh, it is one entry queue. The front position is zero. That is one entry queue. Mm -hmm. What is one element deleted from queue? 
uh, the rear is holding the last position. That means all the elements are there. If we, but front instead of minus one, it is holding the zero. That means the first location element is getting deleted. The front position from minus one to it moved to zero. That is one element get deleted. So that is one element deleted front. So likewise, you can uh, check with the various uh, values of uh, front and rear pointer in order to ensure that what is the thing is there. The MPQ condition may also be like this. See if the rear is uh, also reaches the array size and front front is so what is that rear one by one inserting the data it reaches this location. How the front reaches the location one by one deleting the data it reaches that location. Right. So if both rear and front is also equal to four, that is Q size, then it is also MPQ. What is the other condition? The front should be minus one. The front should be minus one, and the rear should be Q size. That is four. So this is also condition for MTQ because uh, sorry, uh, rear is also equal to minus one. Rear is equal. So if both the things are minus, see if both the rear and the front pointer are equal, if both the rear and the front pointer are equal. What value it is should be equal? It should be equal to minus one or it should be equal to four. If that is the case, then that means four means the same Q says. Then that Q is a MTQ, MTQ, right? So what is the data holder? So data holder, uh, if, uh, what is the a uh, few inside? What is the data holder here? The array and what is the thing that is uh, going to uh, give an illustration? The few inserted and few deleted. Say for example, front pointer is something else and the rear pointer is something else. So rear pointer reaches the Q size by inserting the elements, whereas the front pointer coming back side by deleting the elements. But it is now uh, okay, pointing out two and it is pointing out four. So in that case, a rear point, front pointer is two and rear pointer is four. So the situation is as uh, few elements are inserted, that is few elements minus seven and minus six are inserted, and a few elements are deleted. So that is the condition. Few elements are inserted and a few elements are deleted. That is the situation for a few inserted and a few deleted queue. So the queue operation is like the st stack, you have NQ, uh, you have push and pop, push and uh, pop. Here you have two operations. One is NQ operation, that is the insertion operation, and another one is a DQ operation, that is a deletion operation. For NQ operation, you have to check the overflow condition, that is rear equal to uh, Q size minus one. That means the rear pointer reaches the uh, top location and no more insertion is possible. That is the overflow condition. And with respect to DQ, it is underflow condition that is front equal to uh, equal to rear. So if both the front and the rear points are equal, uh, then it is uh, equal to equal to rear. Then it is an underflow condition. So insertion and deletion, NQ and DQ operation, overflow condition and underflow condition. What is pseudo code? So if you take the case pseudo code, if you take the case pseudo code, if rear equal to equal to R is Q size, if rear equal to equal to Q size minus one. So then it is, uh, the, so when you write a code, when you write a code in a program, so you have to write the code like that. Uh, so rear equal to Q size minus one. That is the condition for overflow. If that is the case, you, the, you are unable to insert. After that, you can start inserting. How you can start inserting? You are increment the rear pointer and in the array location, you have to start inserting. Likewise, for the pseudo code is, so first of all, you have to check the underflow condition. Underflow condition, front equal to rear or not. If the front is no more deletion is possible the, because the queue is already empty. Otherwise, you have to increment the front pointer one by one, one position, and then you have to insert the uh, item, uh, delete the item from the queue of front. So this is what the queue operation is all about. So there are uh, many special kinds of queues available. One is uh, uh, in general queue is called first in first out or last in first out. There are very that is a circular queue, uh, priority queue, double ended queue. So these are all the three special kinds of queue. What is circular queue? That is. Uh, uh, the first location is again joined to the last location. So it is look like this. It is it look like in the circular fashion. What is priority queue? Priority queue, some element has been associated with some priority values. According to the priority value, the data is inserted. What is the DQ? See, in Q, the insertion and the deletion both are at the one end, right? Suppose if uh, insertion is at one end, deletion is another end. That is a double end. So that is the tech. That is a double ended queue. Let me explain the applications. So the various applications are for uh, Q or dealt with operating system there that is compiler design in case of stack the major applications are operating system. Whatever the activities performed by an operating system like scheduling, file transfer and uh, quite more importantly in computer networks and data communication all are going to be applications of Q. What are the limitations of Q? So the limitations of simple Q. So why we go for circular Q? Say for example when you are deleting an item when you are deleting an item say look at this situation. 
So here uh, the rear reaches the value four. The rear reaches the value four. Uh, that means uh, uh, the rear reaches the uh, array Q size. If it reaches the Q size, what it what we came to know the Q is full and no more deletion is possible. We are not bothering about the front pointer. But where the front pointer comes, the front pointer comes to this position. So that means there are some empty locations. So we, by looking at this condition, you came to know that there is no more incision as possible. By looking at the Q with regard to the front position, three empty locations are there. And these three can be inserted with the some values. So what is the value you can enter and how you can enter? In simple queue, it is not possible. In simple queue, it is not possible because the simple queue won't allow you because the condition is defined like that. So one is uh, the condition is uh, empty queue. This is the condition, two condition you can have. So this rear and front pointer should be minus one or rear and front pointer should be queue size. One entry queue, rear equal to zero and the front equal to minus one. This is one entry queue. Full queue, uh, rear equal to queue size and the front equal to minus one. This is... Uh, the full queue and other uh, forms of conditions for full queue are this thing that is we have already explained we already explained this uh, pointer so what is that so whenever you find an empty space and you need not to bother about the empty space and you are not allowed to enter the value in the empty space because of the linear queue condition and its associated principles so what you can do is you can go for circular queue so the circular queue will have the diagram like this. So the zero is here, uh, one is here, two is here, and uh, the seventh location is connected with the zero location. That is the last and the first is get connected. The rear and the minus one, rear equal to minus one, front equal to. So how the insertion is possible? See, when you are inserting an item, see this is uh, this diagram is for uh, empty uh, queue, empty queue. Uh, both the rear as well as uh, front are minus one. The no elements is added. So now the, if I look at this diagram, front equal to minus one, but rear is incremented to one position zero. That means one element is added. And the rear is keep on incrementing it. When the rear equal to three, see how many elements are entered? Zero, one, one element for 15, another element, 20, another this is 25. So three elements have been added. Likewise, the elements get added. Likewise, the elements get added. So this is what insertion is happening about. How the deletion is happening about? So deletion is keep coming in this direction. So once the rear reaches the seventh location, seventh location, so it is possible to increment the rear to another location, even though this location is not uh, possible in the simple queue, but with a simple step, you can possibly enter the value here. Enter the value here. So this is deletion. So once the rear reaches the final location, that is a queue size, then the rear is front will start deleting the element one by one. See, this element get deleted, and in here, this element get deleted. So likewise, the element get deleted. Now, now both the rear uh, value is here, and the front value is here. If you can. So like it deeper. So now when the rear reaches this position, can I bring the rear that value is a seven to zero? Yes, absolutely. It is possible in circular queue, but not in the uh, linear queue. What is the condition? The condition here for inserting element is rear equal to rear plus one mod size. That is when you call the NQ function by inserting element 10. So what is the, how the position is calculated? Rear equal to rear plus one third to eight. Mod Q says model. That is in that situation. See, uh, front is always minus one because you are going to re insert element, right? So front is always minus one. You know to bother. How the rear value is? So rear value is zero for this uh, when you evaluate this expression. Rear equal to rear plus one model. What is the rear position? Rear position is minus one. So minus one minus one equal to zero zero mod eight. It is zero. So likewise, if you be in the rear position is seven. So you can insert the value from zero to seven. That is a rear pointer. And uh, when you go for deletion, the deletion, the condition is uh, front equal to front plus one mod Q size. So when you, you do the Q operation, it is uh, calling by the DQ, deck, the DQ, the deck is different, DQ is different, DQ operation. So in that, uh, the front equal to front plus one mod eight. So if you do so, so even since it is a deletion operation, rear always uh, holds the highest position. So rear equal to seven. We have to increment the front zero position one. How? Every time the front is increment. By one by one, front equal to front plus one minus one. So here the front position is zero. This zero is substituted here. So like if this one is substituted here. This is six is substituted in this place to get seven. To get seven. This five four is substituted here in order to get that value. Mm, is there any message comes? Oh no, no message. I thought the message is coming. Okay. Uh, so this is what the deletion is all about. So you can follow this thing. 
uh, you can either alternatively go for insertion and alternative deletion so there it is not possible insertion is one time and deletion is even the insertion is going as unsigned so if the insertion reaches the last uh, array uh, q size no more insertion is possible the deletion keep on coming in and it is also reaches it is treated as uh, empty key but here it is not like that it is uh, like, like a ring like a ring the insertion is going on it was going on and the front is also going on so that means the deletion is also going on so that is the example for c alternatively you can do the uh, alternatively you can do both the uh, insertion operation that is the nq operation and finally alternatively you can do the dq operation accordingly the point of positions are varying with respect to the formula front equal to front plus so this rear is old rear value and this rear is new rear value likewise this front is new front value and this front is uh, old front value. that is previous front value previous rear that is new rear value is equal to old rear value plus one so initially you know the rear value and my value is minus one the front value is minus one so there is this minus one and minus one is stated as the in old value in order to evaluate the expression to in order to so that we can find the new or rear value and based on the new rear value you find you have to insert the item in that location that is the nq operation likewise the reverse is dq operation so the circular uh, array is effective that is memory is utilized effectively when you take in the case of simple q uh, the data is not that much uh, uh, effectively the array is not that much effectively right? you can find still uh, some empty memory location where you can't able to insert you can't able to insert whereas in case of the circular queue you, it is keep on rotating like a ring right so it is possible to insert. so whenever you want to insert or it, it's, you, you can keep on going that is one major advantage of circular queue what is priority queue here is the simple queue uh, but with the see, I, if I want to insert an item, uh, so what is the item I want to insert? I want to insert item P, Q, R, C. Along with the item, there is a priority value 5, 10, 50, 30. What it means, number 50 is the one which is uh, saying the priority. So if the value is priority is higher, then what it means, that value should be inserted first. So the R is inserted first, followed by uh, the next priority value, yes, followed by the next priority. So like this. So according to the priority value, according to the priority value, the values are inserted or yes, Q, P. So that is a special type of Q, uh, priority Q. So similar Q, uh, that is a similar standard uh, simple Q, but the value is inserted according to the priority value, not like a first come first serve basis. When the data is coming in, uh, all the data are uh, buffered first. All the data are buffered, that is maintained in a... In a put of space and once all the data is entered then it will analyze the priority value and it will check which whose priority is higher according to that so, so where you use the term q i forgot about asking the so where you use the term q like list like a star value so whenever you go for any temple any cinema theater to buy a tickets or anything you want to purchase in a ration shop so you you find to find your q right so when you are in a q some elder is coming or some pregnant uh, lady is coming or some patient is coming so what you will do immediately you will give priority to them in order to move forward right so that's what the priority is all about here right so priority queue applications again the priority queue applications are dealt with uh, majority in terms of communication or uh, in terms of uh, uh, data structure like uh, some kind of algorithms, prims algorithms, cruise algorithms in terms of uh, uh, algorithmic subjects uh, and uh, other thing is uh, uh, what is that? Um, this is, uh, uh, discrete event simulation, that is operating system, uh, Huffman coding, that is uh, with respect to data communication, that is the major application of priority queue. So there you can find or you can use the concept of priority queue in order to realize these applications. Another operation is that, uh, another special queue is that, that is a double-ended queue. So what is this double-ended queue? I already told that. So in the all in the previously explained all the queues, both the, the rear position is in the uh, forward side, whereas in, uh, behind that you can find the front pointer. Whereas in this uh, double-ended queue, the rear pointer is one location, front pointer is uh, the opposite side. So you can I use, either you add and delete using the rear pointer as well as you can add and delete the using the front pointer. Now the front point rear pointer is uh, acting as a top pointer. Likewise, if that can be used as the instant delete. Likewise, the front pointer here is also used as a top pointer. Maybe you can call by the name bottom pointer because it is in the, on the other side. But the operation is taken okay? from that direction also you can either insert and delete, and from this direction also you can insert and delete. 
so you can call nq rear if you get nq rear you can use this operation nq friend so dq friend so this is the idea you can use it so where this deck double ended q operation is used so it is used in the intel computer threading block building blocks for a kind of job called steel job scheduling algorithm so that algorithm they have used here a deck that is a double ended q so uh, with this uh, i stop the uh, class uh, the next class we will discuss about the application of uh, what is that uh, uh, stack you can find lot of problems in it so next class we will discuss about the stack applications